Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani's a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I want to say hello from Houston Quilt Market. It's absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't made plans for festival, you can make plans. Come to festival. We have all kinds of amazing pricing in the booth, and the show is tremendous. So I would recommend it to all of you. Uh, today's question, or today's project of the week, comes from a question I got here at Quilt Market. And it was about working with artwork. Now we have done, I have done videos explaining the differences between JPEG files and vector files. And we've talked about that. But I had a very specific question this week. So with that question, and with a little bit of help from one of our other educators, Mark Garretts, I just want to show you the fun I've had here at Market. Now if you have a piece of artwork, a JPEG, you've taken a picture of something, you've drawn something, and you want to bring it into the software and you want to create a design from it. There are two ways to do this. The first way is, if it's a JPEG, I've taken the picture, I've, you know, put it somewhere that I know where it is. So I've put this on my desktop. So now I can go to my backdrop tool, left mouse click on it, and I can click on my cowboys. So I can bring in the cowboys, the logo here, that I wanted to put on a bag. Now this is a JPEG. So I've got a few ways I could work with this. I could use my magic wand tool and I could have it do a run stitch around here. Then I could change that to a steel stitch and I, or work with it that type of way. Or I could use my magic wand here and I could create an outline over similar areas. Which I could also do that. But the best way to work with this, if possible, is I'm going to get a new piece of paper. I am going to bring this same image in, but I'm going to use my wizard because this is a JPEG image. What does that mean? That means this is made up of lot. whoops, I guess I zoomed in too much for that one. This is made of lots of pixels of little color. So you can see that is not a very clean and nice image to work with. So the best images you can work with in software is vector files. And you usually do those through a, a program, uh, a graphic arts program such as Adobe Illustrator, Paint Shop Pro, Corel Draw. Then you create them in there and you can save it. You can save your vector image and bring it in. Well that's, that's another program. It's another learning curve. I want to show you how amazing and how easy it is with Floriani. So what I'm going to do is get a new piece of paper. I'm going to come to my, my wizards here. See my little wizard hat? And by left mouse clicking on my auto wizards, I'm going to go to the auto artwork wizard. Now I'm going to select this, and I am going to select the image. Now I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to select that same cowboy image that I selected bringing it in with the backdrop tool. Only this time when I bring it in, I'm going to say OK, open. Now I'm going to go to Next. This is my image. Now if I wanted to change the size of it, now would be the time. I could change the size of the width of the artwork, the height. Now this is about 5 inches wide, 5 inches tall. Now when I say 5 inches, it's not the star, it's the cowboys clear across. And then with the cowboys to the top of the star, we have the other little over five inches. So I'm going to leave it at this right now. I'm going to go to next. Now notice it's starting to look different. It's cleaning up that um, JPEG file and it's going to turn it into a vector for me. So I'm going to go, OK, I like this. I'm a happy girl. So next, and I'm going to finish. So now here's my image that I want to work with. So if we look in our sequence view, let me close my properties so we can see this good. You can see there's my artwork cowboys, and these are pieces in my artwork. Now I'm not going to keep this, I'm not going to keep the word cowboys. What I want to do is click 
and I'm going to delete, 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 and delete. So I'm going to delete all of the word cowboys. Now I have my two stars, my cowboy star here. Now with this star, I want to come in and work with it. Now I tried working with it and I was having a little bit of difficulty figuring out because if I tried to put a steel stitch, it would run a steel stitch on the right side and the left side because it can see both edges. So that wasn't working. And Mark Garretts, which is one of our other educators, said, well, let's look at this. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select my first star and I'm going to tell it don't leave the color filled in. So I'm going to remove the fill, left mouse click, and apply. So you can see it's taken out just the fill look. So I can see there are actually two edges. I'm going to come in and I'm going to do the same on my other star. I'm going to remove the fill. So now with this star I don't want four um, seal stitches, satin stitches, anything. I just want two because I want to recreate this star. So in the first star, so let's go back to our, our first star, I need to break up this artwork because this artwork right now, these two pieces select as one because it was one image with two edges. So let's come up here and let's tell it break apart that artwork. So I'm going to break that apart. Oh. Now I'm going to grab my second one and we are going to break that apart as well. So now as you can see with these all broken apart, apparently I didn't do that one very good, I have got more than one star. Should actually have four. So where am I missing? Okay, that one, that one, that one. Okay, we're going to work with this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to delete this edge. So I'm going to delete it. I'm going to do the same thing here. I want to delete this inside edge and it still sees this as one star. Why? Let me look at this. Do you like it when it happens to me? There we go. So I grabbed it and deleted it. So now I've got an inner star and an outer star, just like I had before, but now I'm going to give it that dimension. So what I wanted to do with this is I actually want to use some gray apple stitch material so this uh, star, this cowboy star, looks really nice on a bag. So the first thing I want to do, I'm thinking about this and I think, well, you know what? I'm going to grab the outer star and I'm going to make that an apple stitch. So I'm going to come down here to my one click wonder and I'm going to do apple stitch. That's my blue bush. So now I have an apple stitch star running around the edge. Now let's grab this inner star and with the inner star, I just need a pretty steel stitch. Just a nice, pretty satin in there. So I'm going to grab that. Now I don't like how the points came in. It's, it's mitered, but they're a little bit sharp. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell these to round. So it's still going to have that mitered look, but they're not going to be as sharp. So I'm happy with this star as far as looking like I want it to. Now if I grab this and I tell this I want it to be blue as well, there we go. So now I've got my my nice cowboy star here and it is apple stitch so I'm going to use apple stitch fabric. So let me grab the apple stitch part and I'm going to go to fabric here and I want, because it's a gray, I want a gray and I can use the leather I could use the gray leather look. I could use a just a, a nice pretty gray velvet look. Let's see. So I can see what my star is going to look like. Now you don't see 
that inner piece that I had, that inner star, you're not seeing it because I've put this leather within the Apla stitch itself. So you're not seeing this upper steel star. So there it is. So now you can see that because it's actually sitting on top of the leather. Now what I would do is, is since the reason I can't see it is because it's on top. So let's grab this, right mouse click on it and say I want to move you to the last. Now there we go. Because it was stitching out first so that's why the leather was over it. So now you can see what I'm going to look like with my Apple stitch fabric. Now you'll notice in here I've got a green trapping line. I don't need that line because this inner steel stitch is actually going to hold that down for me. So I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to fit this to screen again. That's going to hold this down. See, when you have Apple stitch, remember that fabric's going to tear away from the outside because it's goof proof applique. But it would also tear away from the inside. Well, this steel stitch is going to hold it on the inside so I can get rid of this other trapping line. So let's come in here to the Apple stitch. Now I can see everything there is in this Apple stitch. You see, I can see it all. But the deal is with this is that it is one piece. I can see the pieces, but I can't play with them individually. So again, I'm going to right mouse click on Apple stitch and I'm going to tell it to break up my Apple stitch. So now it's actually four colors. Well, I don't need the green. I don't need the tack down line, the trapping line. So I'm going to delete that. So now I have a placement line, a tack down line, a finish line. So you can see how that is going to finish. There we go. That's how I want it to stitch. So let's see how this is going to stitch. Placement. I'm going to lay down my Apple stitch fabric. It's going to tack it down. It's going to finish. And then it's going to come in and do my nice little inner star. So now I have my wonderful cowboy star. So I've done that. Now I could come in and I could get an alphabet and I could get put cowboys under it if I so chose. But I wanted to talk to you about how to bring in artwork, how to think it through, take it apart. Um, so you noticed we took the fill out so we could see both edges. We broke apart everything so that we could delete the edge we didn't want to create with. So you can see how simple this was to do. And this is how artwork works. So if you wanted to draw a picture, put it on your desktop, bring it in through the artwork wizard, turn it into a vector file, and then it's very simple and easy to play with. So with my cowboy star on the screen, obviously we know Kathy's a cowboy fan. So I wanted to thank you for coming to this month's project of the week. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it gave you a little insight in how to play and manipulate and work with artwork. And I look forward to seeing you next week. And I sure hope we get to see you at festival. Come to the booth. Look at our specials. Come to the booth. Talk to us about any challenges you have in the software because there will be someone there to help you. Thank you so much. Have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week.